new documentary about the reggae legend Bob Marley has opened in the United States. My life is only important if me can help plenty of people. In my life is just me, my own security. I don't want it. My life is for people. Are you a rich man? Do you have a lot of possessions? Position making rich. Marley paints a picture of the life, music and legacy of the Jamaican singer-songwriter who died in 1981 at the age of 36 and had a lasting influence on the politics of his own island and oppressed people the world over. Using rare, sometimes unseen footage, the movie charts the life of the much-loved star from poor beginnings in Trenchtown to international stardom. And the Hollywood premiere attracted big names from the world of film and music. The Marley family chose the Oscar winner Kevin MacDonald to direct, becoming the first portrait of the musician to be made with their approval and participation. The man is the man, but the message is, is, is the most important part of it, you know. I've been to Africa, I've been to many places where Bob, when Bob was around, he wasn't there physically, but his music was there um, supporting the movements of freedom through, in, in these countries. So it's not much about the, the man when it comes to, um, you know, the things that he would stand for. It's about what his message, message is, and that's st that is still here. Yeah, we wanted it to show the world like more, more intimate side, and not just people's opinions and people who didn't really know him to do a movie, but people who knew him. Find the right person to do it right, and being able to to believe in the family that it has to be done our way, you know. And Kevin McDonald really worked side by side with Ziggy to making sure that that would, that came across as a family family approval. You know what I mean? The most important thing culturally that was happening in Jamaica at that time was Bob Marley exploding onto the world stage. There was that sense that he's about to be massive. 